Let me say bye. Smelly, smell sad. When she said, put up this thing yesterday, I missed get a headache. I said, Jesus Christ, what is wrong with this kid? As soon as he catch you, he get a money. You are for sure he bigger than me. You are compared to son. Calm your fucking self down. You ain't got self, you ain't got the knowledge, you ain't got the background, you will never be. You be you. You don't try to be a me. He, look at the perception that is created about him by smelly smell. A fucking known entity degenerate hungry belly low life woman. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora thanks so we see a similar situation in the news recently allegedly the commissioner's son got some shooting incident that has been allegedly covered up and it's all over the news you see Melly Mel covered it and then critic allegedly trying to defend what was going on in the incident somehow got into the cross here again and his situation now got brought to the front allegedly and Melly Mel posted a picture of his son this said picture critics come back and did this commentary and did this video where he exposed pretty much some of the same things that Melly Mel was talking about. Kind of reversing everything that would have been said to disparage his character. Now, this is unlike most persons to deal with situations head on and present the same thing that you're trying to present to tear them down. He's going to get in front and say, look, you want to talk something about me? This is what it is. I can tell the people them what's going on. And this is what you have to say about it right now. Share your feedback in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this. You could make a child. But you can't make the child mine. All parents go through this one time or the next. Let me say bye. Smell, smell, say. When she said put up this thing yesterday, I miss get a headache. I said, Jesus Christ, what is wrong with this kid? Then somebody messaged me. I said, man, I know this room. I said, how do you know? I said, because I don't know the weapon. Because it's this person's weapon. So thankfully, that's been laid to rest. And I can tell you, I ain't hip hip and hooray and all because when I fucking disassociated myself with this guy, it's because I know scunt like this is gonna come and I say, Yo, not me. Me taking no responsibility for stupidity. Now look at he, look at the perception that is created about him by smelly smell. A fucking known entity, degenerate, hungry belly, low life woman. You understand? Trying to make it out for me at that. No, no, no. You ain't nobody. This is just a regular day for me. And nothing personal. I was telling somebody the other day. Smelly smell. Trying to do what you're doing. She in the me realm. But it's like cricket. The game is playing. The game is interesting. Somebody got lash sick. Somebody got bowl out somebody. But at the end, who becomes the winner? Enough Batman get bowl out. Is the team. I play for Team Guyana. Smelly smell playing for Team Destruction. You understand? When it's said and done, like she posts up, we'll talk about this, I got the evidence. I would have fucking. Listen to me. I done call somebody, I said, we're going there, man. I said, they can't do nothing with that. The police said they can't do nothing with it because them two dots on the eyes. They can't do nothing with it. Because my son, I got to answer everybody. See it. They talk. Me talk by everybody's story. Paul had an accident the other day. I talk by his story. 
me get problem my tag with me in frightening i got a whole different dimension that i've created and i'll do this by attitude and behavior is not to my likeness he a hundred percent better than fucking smelly smell he life set at the age of 23 he already walking in texas and in the gulf of mexico and oil rigs yes he like set he got him experience the problem is he's not grounded as soon he catch he high he get a little money he will have a show he bigger than me he will compare his son calm your fucking self down you ain't got self you ain't got the knowledge you ain't got the background you will never be you be you you don't try to be a me I have a vice note with this my drunk customer. Me father's guy, you should call me father. And I tell him, I said, don't fucking call me. I want nothing to do with you and you disrespect. He tell me a day if me got money for me. I said, fuck you. Wherever is he troubles? Wherever is he troubles? I ain't saying it's he fault. I saying it's me fault. I have failed as a father with him. But I don't have a solution to the problem. What am I going to do? I have two sons. I have two other sons. I have people that I'm employing. I have people I gotta take care of and fucking do run behind me and cry for the rest of my life. I have an empire. I envision building. I got pump station and enough work for do. You go there and see what the world has to offer. See how you gonna make it scunt. You a man. This is how we roll in the Rodriguez family. When you reach your 18, we let you out there. Go out there. It's a European style. Me and I use the Indian man, the black man style, your whole and all. I'll be there in a fucking house. Use a levy, had a room. And every I said, partner, you can't de hey. You can't have a shoveness and the hey. Nobody can have a shoveness around me. People are expecting certain things from me. And I can't have an associate with anybody, even blood. That would bring disrepute to myself and others associated with me because of the fact that I continue to come out and speak loudly. They got women, they got mothers, Indian people and black people just do it. Got criminal picnic, no bail them three, four times. Listen, no, that by he no fucking criminal. He's a dunce youth. He just chop it. And this guy, when he there bad, he, he think he grounded. As soon he get a little money, he flying. He flying high. He's getting all excited. Why should I say, partner, this is not show time. Look at your other brothers. Look at people. Look at what we do. If he can get what he want, and when he want, he up on a high horse. So when people think they ain't got no limits for me, I am the Guyanese critic and the realest thing in the world. Unfortunately for people who are building families and building riches, I am building a legacy. I too am not perfect. But I thrive every day to be better than I was yesterday. And with this boy, I can say today, he is not at fault. I am at fault. I can't fix my fucking own problem. I get rid of it. I will not continue be going and trying to fix and mold. You're 23 years of age or 22 years of age, you got knowledge. Luckily, when I go and check, I said he's 22. So in the state where he was holding this, in the American state, where he was holding the Kalashnikov, once you're 21 years of age, you can handle a firearm. You know what I'm And I felt relief. That's a natural way to stay ready, baby. 
Because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. Or to cost or whoever it is, took my statement uh -huh. and he shoved it in the beat your old body. What? You understand? <laughs> he take my statement and he push it in the bamzy. What? <laughs> There's what you do, right? And like I said, I'm doing a documentary about this whole yeah. thing. And we're going to get everybody exposed. And you see that live in guy in a page that is run by Kwame Makai? Right? right? We coming for them to Cornell, um, Comrade Cornell Jones or whatever. I am watching everybody. It's just that me and Tag Mila is them. Yeah. Right? But they got something. When the police and they want to charge politicians, right? Yes. Go ahead. Sorry. I say you're very manageable because this is what confused me. Question, are you currently married? Yes, I, I am married. I'm oh, happily oh. married. We're expecting another baby right now. We have not announced it, but um, I'm I'm about to have three children. Okay, next question. How did Otisha know your wife work at a hospital? Do you know your wife? Well, allegedly is cheating on you with a doctor? The Cuban My doctor? wife is not my my wife is not cheating on, on me. Okay. All right. I can I'm just tell you that I, I am very, I am very much confident that okay. my wife is not cheating on me because I know, I know myself and I have that, that, that level of okay. confidence in my relationship yes. and in my life and in my wife. Okay. I love my wife and my wife loves me and we got each other's back. It's the hardest thing in that going on. It's, it's she's saving enough people because she's saying that I don't need to stoop to that level. Okay. Is she saving so man, enough people? So let me tell you something. Me and let me tell you. Oh, 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 let me tell you how serious I am. Yeah. Right? You see, I got, I got, got all my um, my cameras and so watching, mm -hmm. right? Watching out, right? Yes. No, I knowing how troublesome this Otis Pearson could be and how much he is out to get me. He is out to get me, sorry. I was preparing for them to come by me tonight, sir. Yeah. Right? You see? Oh, shit. I was preparing right. for them to come by me tonight. <laughs> right? You see the thing we're saying about F up and done? There's not one person put F up and done. You see, I come out here and I am I, I am easy going and I don't mess around nobody or, yeah. or nothing like that. Yeah. Right? But <laughs> I am no easy, I am no easy person, okay. Mr. Pearson. So if you want a confrontation, you need to come. Right? You need to come. And you see how, well, how say, quick you're on our life when I come out of the life. Because listen, if you should go police step and trap you, you said to fuck you up. What more you wanna do? You serious? Uh, the police, the police station is Otisha's domain. Okay. <laughs> right i uh, i want her to come i mean him i keep saying her him that individual has a penis and it's a man right 